Hello everyone, my name is Gerardo Gamber, and welcome back to Skyrim Special Edition. We have the lovely ambience of Tamriel, of Skyrim to take in. You can breathe that air, and that guy just farted. Whatever. And we can shoot our magical spells, which are super effective. Ow, I fell. Nothing a little magic can't solve, right? Um, like so many of my videos, once again, we are gonna be going to attack some bandits or something of that description. Can't believe I missed. Hey, we got him. And we ran out of Magicka in the process. That's lovely. Yeah, you go on there, you go on there with a piece of ice shoved up your butt. Um... We have... I guess that's why we have the Frostbite, because that one takes up so much magic. Uh, might as well, right? So, let's equip that in the other hand. Maybe we can get lucky and steal the soul of something? Probably not one of these guys, but we can try... And he's gonna run away. Of course. Yeah, he's gonna just run away. We have no chance. So we're going to take on these bandits here, if we can. Which would be nice. Of course, we don't have enough magic to cast it, because I used it all. Hey, look, it's a noble and shit. I swear, if you make one comment about being under your boot or something, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> we're going to be the highwaymen. <laughs> oh, look at those butterflies. They're so pretty. So pretty and flying and shit. Hello, unfortunate sap. How are you? Take your stuff, because I hate you. Oh, yep. Yeah. We weren't going in stealthily. Don't worry about that. Wait, why am I even using Soul Trap? I don't have a black skin. It's going to freeze you. Where's Glam Dringo? Any. Oh, you're dead. Okay. There's so a lockpick. I'm not gonna run. <laughs> we get shot. <laughs> that hurt. Don't oh, shoot me. I'm innocent, I tells you. I swear it, there's a guy up here, he's always glitched, or she's always glitched. See? It doesn't go anywhere. It's a guy this time. He doesn't like to leave his post. Ah, he left his post. <laughs> that is the first time he ever left his post. Like, he literally had it in for me. I know they're still firing at me. I just don't care. Where are you? Where are you? Hey, hey, you. Stop firing at me. I'm going to destroy your world and shit on your women. I'll probably not do that because it's kind of disgusting, but... Best be frozen. Imagine if there was like a villain that was like that. He's like, I'm gonna shit on your women. He's like, no, please don't shit on my women. No. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay, we have, uh. Oh, we have hurt their pride. <laughs> yeah, no match for me. Um. This is adept mode, so it's not, like, legendary mode. I miss doing that, and I, I want to do it again, but I'll probably save it for the fully modded Skyrim um, that I've been playing. Season of Lycanthrope, as we get stronger in levels with that character, we will amp up the difficulty. Because I thought it was kind of funny and challenging at the same time. Who needs death when you've got ice and shitting on your women? Uh, he's blocking our attacks. You can't block ice. Easy guys. Oh shit, another wizard. It's time to prove my metal. Why, why am I talking like this? I don't have to talk like this. Is it better than Deckard Kane? I mean, I am Deckard Kane. Today I will show he's got a lot of help. Oh, oh no. This is uh, insta kill territory. Um, scrolls. I mean, I could try to stop him from attacking us, but that probably won't help. Well. Ah. 
No. No. Stay well and listen, motherfucker. No. Come back to me. How you dare? How'd you dare? Laughing now. <laughs> oh, it was so painful. Oh my god. God, for a guy without a shirt, like, he was a serious badass. I mean, he would not go down. I guess that's his uh, condition there. Okay. It looks like we've cleared this place out part, but there's probably one or two more people. I know there's that old lady that works here. Hey, magical weapons, magical armor. Why not? Um, these boots give us stamina. Thank you very much. This guy in a dress. Okay. Um... Got that that doesn't go anywhere special. You can literally get there from the outside. What? Oh, it's just a Dovahkiin helmet. Uh, they kind of have to include that type of helmet in the next Elder Scroll game, just because everyone loves it. They could say like, you know, Skyrim Iron Helmet. Everyone will remember those days when it was the coolest thing they'd ever seen. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, you guys, it's 2011. And there's the Skyrim helmet, and I'm super excited. I was so excited for Skyrim when it came out. I was so excited. And now it's just like, it's... I talked about this in a video before. I can't remember which video, but I said things like, yeah, you get so excited for a game, and then it finally releases. And it's not that you you're, you lose interest. It's that it becomes normal. It becomes commonplace, and it, it's just accepted as it is. Hi, lady. How you doing? Oh, well, you look a lot younger. Well, I just cook you're still old, but you look a lot younger than you did. The lighting is so much kinder to you in this. You have no idea. Uh, is it... yeah, a drop of strength. A drop of enchanting be would be useful. People who have been in out of this fort, but I think we have a ways to go before we really invest in those. That's how you make some of the strongest weapons and armor in the game. You get a draught of enchanting, and it just makes you okay. It makes your world a lot better. Oh, yeah. Please, you like potatoes? I like potatoes too. Oh. No, you don't. He probably would have killed us with that. So, glad I was able to stop him. These are bread. I thought they were potatoes. I was trying to protect the potatoes. I tried to protect them, but I feared. Dead rats everywhere, and there's traps that have not been sprung. Okay, well, I know there's a few more things in there, but I really could care less. Yeah, that's a nice uh, silhouette there. Still got some weird stuff going on with the lighting in the upper face. But, for the most part, the shadowing on the hood is great. I mean, the upper face is kind of wonky, uh, but you're not really looking at that half the time. You're looking at that. That's cool. I, I like that attention to detail. That's the volumetric um, lighting, how it's catching everything. So this game is constantly using it, basically. Uh, volumetrics make everything look better, strangely enough. Whoa, what the fuck is going on over here? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> is there something I could help you with? Oh, it's, it's the merchant. Hey, sir, how you doing? I, I want to see what this guy had. We could see what he has uh, for sale here. Need something? We could kill take him, him take his stuff, but honestly, it's not worth it. No, I wanted to take see what... You are so complicated. No! <laughs> Show take me your miscellaneous. It's not like I'm asking you to whip some... You don't fuck you. Until next time. <laughs> He's just like, nope. Well, I'm not going to show you anything. I don't have to. My mom says I'm awesome. I'm sure you are. I mean, you took two bandits by yourself. I'm sure your horse helped out with the first one, but still. 
Horses, Skyrim horses, are badass. This is a simple fact. You don't fuck with Skyrim horses. That's a powerful spell. Oh, we should have used Soul Trap. Hey, there's a giant. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck is he attacking? Whatever he attacked, it's gone now. He's like freaking out. No! No! No, you don't. You don't do that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Somehow we've angered their entire clan. Hey, you can stagger the giant. We are not a match for him. <laughs> we are not a match for him. We need to run. Yeah, that that's some serious business right there. Um Let's get the fuck away from him. Ah, now the time to retrieve my mastery of the dark arts. Your soul is mine. For those of you wondering, I did just kick that wolf. No, for those of you wondering, will I be installing Frostmourne on this? Of course I will. It's one of the best looking weapons for Skyrim. Of course I'm going to be putting Frostmourne in this. That weapon deserves to be here. Oh, we have a chance to become a vampire. This is good. This is good. Works out in our favor. Um, we're going to save. Because, you know, you know Elder Scroll games. You know how difficult these can be. Oh, a purposefully difficult. It's like, hey, the game's either gonna kill you, or it's gonna crash. And shit. Um, so we have a vampire here. Hi, lady. I have to get her to fight me. Come on, fight me. Uh, we are going to level up. Which I think will be useful. We are avoiding putting points in our health for now and stamina and there's a good reason for that I mean I feel it's probably the best thing to do for now is to get as much magic as possible so we can cast enough spells oh I thought there was another skeleton oh there is another skeleton oh, nice. I need you to bite me. Come on, keep doing it. Um, we're going to increase our health a bit. So she hits pretty hard. There's also a master vampire in here. And, uh, yeah, he hits hard too. Nom 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 nom. I'm just gonna eat all that shit. Why not, right? Come on, infect me. Only problem about being a widow. Being infected with vampirism is fairly hard to do. Yeah, resist disease. In the other games, it's even harder because it's like a 70 something percent chance, um, which is ridiculous. Come on. Bat it. Bat it, lady. This is gonna take a <laughs> I know there's a guaranteed way of becoming a vampire, but I'd rather do it early. So why not? Oh, we're gonna run out of stuff. Oh, shit. That's not a good, uh, yeah. You're pathetic. Ow! Well, now she has to use that on me. Which I don't think is going to transfer a disease, so... We're actually at a disadvantage here. Oh, and we're dead. <laughs> okay, we're trying this again. Stop it! <laughs> um... 
Let's get our bow out. Oh, somehow we have... Yeah, that's right. We sold that bow, so we have the new bow. They're apparently too dumb to follow me back here. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got the disease. Okay, now we can go full blown. Stupid on her. Oh, wait. We have a free level up. Let's do that, right? Why not? Okay, we have the disease, and we need to not die. Hi there, vanishing vampire lady. Oh, <laughs> the ragdoll! Holy shit! Oh, that was cool. I'll take your uh, stuff. You can just burn here. Enjoy the fire. Hey, you know you. You look like you're having a good time. I know you are. I know you are. Um, so we're on our way to becoming a vampire. That's good. As long as I don't die in the process, that would suck balls. I mean, there's there's more than one way to become a vampire in this game now. They kind of made it too easy, because you just go to Lord Harkon, if you have the expansion, and he makes you an even better vampire off the bat. You don't even have to contract the disease. But I like contracting the base disease, and then, you know, being corrupted further. Like, it's it's cool. It's kind of a shame that Lycanthropy doesn't have that. That there's another form of disease. They should have kept it like it was in Blood Moon, where you contract the disease from fighting werewolves. Um, although, you know, the main story... You, the fucking skull. Uh, the main story, you have to actually um, do a mission, and that mission causes... You, you can still contract the disease from fighting the werewolves. If you do encounter them before, and I, I did the first time I played the game. I spent hours. Must have run off. Ow. <laughs> He's a pretty hard enemy to fight. We can kill him, though. Uh, we just gotta use gimmicks. Uh, I should have gotten some trap spells. That's where those come in handy. Stuff like that. Let me just make sure I did, in fact, save. Um, yep, we got it. Okay, so uh, the thing is with Blood Moon. Uh, thing was with Blood Moon in Morrowind, you could contract the disease from fighting werewolves, and it was possible to find werewolves in the world. Whoa, shit. Oh, no. It was possible to find them in the world um, after many hours of gameplay. It was very hard to. They had like a 1% uh, chance to spawn only in a few areas. So you'd have to actually seek them out. Oh, he's glitched. So he just that all we want. Okay. Come up behind us and try to stab us in the back. That'll be fun, indeed. Let's heal up. They don't like this corner for some reason. I know I'm glitching the system. He doesn't do this. He's like an epic level monster. I can't say we stand much of a chance against him otherwise. Um, frankly speaking, we're not supposed to be here, so... This is one of those dungeons that reminds you that you are a pleb and you have no business in the world of Skyrim. Okay, yeah, he's just gonna do that all he wants. Oh. Oh, no! I was gonna heal up! <laughs> okay, you know, I don't think we can kill him. I, I was doing gimmicks, but he keeps re he keeps regenerating his health while we're fighting him, so there's not much of a point to that. I would like to kill him, but we just don't have it. Like, we need a stronger fire spell. We need something more, because he is quite devastating to us. Just admiring these uh, little bugs and shit. They're so pretty. So pretty. I have a new appreciation for the environment in Skyrim since this update. It, it, it's really nice. I say update like it's, you know, no, it's it's a it's a, a new version of the game. <laughs> so I used to say DLC or update, DLC or update, DLC or update, next version pack. <laughs> Sorry, kind of got a little hot there and burned him. In theory, but it was awesome. I like ice better though. Love ice. Um, but 
Yeah, we didn't stand a chance against that vampire master. Here we have wild imperials. I think I'm gonna have a good jest. Surely you jest. No. No. There we go. Put that. God damn it. We're gonna get the drop on them if we can. Power of frost and fire. Ow! Why? Ah, my head! They shot me in the fucking eye! <laughs> well, that brings me back. <laughs> Wizards are really hard to level up, because, uh, yeah, you can kill critters pretty easily, but there's always gonna be someone out there that's a lot stronger than you. In this case, some asshole. Well, we could aggro the giant <laughs> into them, that'd be funny. Um. I think that would be hilarious, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's also very dangerous for us. I mean, there's no real experience gain for that. It's just humorous. I mean, if he kills them, which he will, um, we get nothing out of it. So there's no point in doing that. So we have some soldiers here. Oh, no, these aren't. No, no, these are the, uh, the wedding people. The people of the wedding and shit. Haggroing a giant in them would be hilarious, but they're not worth it. They have barely anything on them. There's no real reason to do that. Uh, surprised I haven't seen the Headless Horseman roaming around. He's normally just, you know, parading his fat ass on his horse. It's like, da -da 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 Oh, there we go. I thought I missed that second shot, but we got him. It stayed true to its course and destroyed the fluffy beast. Bloated man's grotto over here. I don't actually want to go in there right now because in the back in the day when this game was released, you could glitch a quest by going in there early. There's a quest that relies on the entire goddamn dungeon. Who would have thunk it? And yet many people went along this path and did it anyways and then were like crying. They're like, ah, Bethesda, you screwed my game. And it's like, no, your game isn't perfect. It still has problems. But yeah. Outside of like a little bit of fog here and there, there's not a discernible difference between nighttime and the enhanced edition and nighttime the standard. Is it brighter? I can't tell because I've been playing with a uh, light enhancing mod for the longest time and it makes everything fucking dark. <laughs> so it's brighter to me, but is it actually uh, brighter and prettier? I mean, yeah, you've got the you've got the shafts here, the moon shafts coming down. I don't know if YouTube's gonna pick that up as accurately as I'm seeing it, but... Oh, shit! That wolf wanted some. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Talk about a fucking jump scare. <laughs> oh, my God. Christ. <laughs> oh, I love getting lost in thought, talking about shit, and then it's like... <laughs> Bunny! I'm on my way to solitude. <laughs> <laughs> Who's wrong with me? I couldn't hit that damn thing. I don't want to. You're joining the Imperial Re Legion? Are you really? Are you really? Are you seriously joining the Imperial Legion? You're going to die. No. I knew it. Nobody joins the Legion. Wait, did that. Did I get a bounty for that? Bounty, bounty, crime. Largest bounty was 40. It doesn't say I have a bounty here. That was my first murder. Do, 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 do. 
In the bush. No one will ever look there. Um, whoops. I saw our character skulking around over here. Who's that? They were moving really fast, so it's either a courier or someone else. Oh, about to find out. Oh, it's the Khajiits. Yeah. Khajiit as well. One of them must have gotten uh, separated and had to rush to kiss and make up with the others. It's like, I miss you, my friends. We're about to find out if we actually have a mystery bounty now, because uh, I forgot how to read the crime system. <laughs> I really don't know if I, I have a bounty currently or not, but we shouldn't have gotten a bounty for that. Oh. Wait, what am I doing? I'm a fucking wizard. You have failed. See, I don't know who'd want me dead. I literally just did something considerably evil just now. Who would want me dead? Unless they got the wrong person. Uh, they have me. They have me. Hi, Alexa. You were wanted for a crime, apparently. Or for whatever reason. Maybe for looking awesome. I, I don't know. So, whatever. Hey, am I wanted? Tell me if I'm wanted. They say Helgen got hit. Dragons, I can handle. I'm not wanted. Okay. This talk of dragons. <laughs> I was debating. I was like... Do you want to, you know, arrest me? Like, am I wanted for a murder that nobody witnessed? <laughs> I bet the chicken crime stuff is still in the game. Because I'm noticing a lot of stuff is I exactly like I thought it would be. Every there's a lot of stuff that's still in the game. They haven't... Fuck. <laughs> they haven't fucked. No. No. I care about this. I used to be so good. Eh, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know what I did, but somebody hates me. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. We had a nice little jaunt across the country there, and I got lost in thought. Jump scared by a wolf, got attacked by an assassin, I murdered somebody. I, I, I'd say that's a pretty uh, fulfilling Skyrim day, if you ask me. Or Skyrim night, in this case, because it's been night. But... Yeah, so this, is, this is a lot of fun. It's cool to get back into the game and at higher resolutions. And that depth of field, though, that is my favorite feature. Like, when I focus on the wall, everything behind the bars becomes blurry. And then look at the bars, and it, it readjusts itself. I love that. That is immersive, because when you're constantly looking at different things with your eyes, your eyes are focusing on different parts. And although it's not as like, severe, unless you have a serious, like, eye problem, um, everyone has a level of depth of field. So it's really cool to see that. Like, looking at a solid object at the right angle like that. It, it just, it gives the world a much-needed boost visually. And, I mean, that's mostly what's in this this uh, version of the game. That's really what you're, you're paying for, but... It's cool to see the world through different eyes. And I can only imagine where mods are going to go from here. I mean, imagine having all your favorite mods in this game world. It's far better looking. I wasn't sure how to feel about it, to be fair, for the longest time. They were talking about it, and I was like, well, there's mods to do that, you know? There are mods that can make your game look like this. Or even better, because they've had time to work on them. However, however, this is already prepackaged like this, and it is built to do this in this way that is not going to... Um, it's, it's already optimized for this kind of lighting. So there's no need for ENB shaders or, you know, even the realistic lighting. I mean, I guess I could, I guess I could use the realistic lighting mod for this. Because technically, technically, all that does is it changes the uh, saturation of light. I could, actually. I think I could. Um, how would it look? I don't know until I put it in. Uh, and because, it, you know... Realistic lighting and ENB don't conflict, you know, I, I could actually use it. Because it's not an ENB uh, preset mod. It's, it's literally just a, it changes the, all the lighting, the global lighting. The question is, though, since they change the lighting by default in the game, they change the way the game looks, would realistic lighting actually work? Probably not, because the lighting files have been overwritten. 
what might happen is if I put that mod in, the game might look like standard Skyrim because it doesn't know how to read it. So it it's trying to utilize lighting assets that are no longer there. Um, so maybe it's not a good idea, but I could see people coming out with new kinds of shader mods or things like that. But in addition to that, people get a chance to really make magnificent looking mods because this is just so much different looking. Um, I want to get more environmental overhaul mods with more grass and more things, because now it can definitely handle it. It's running a little bit stronger than it was. There's still nothing on the altar there. But it's pretty cool. I think this would be worth the money. Had I spent money on it, I got it for free, so... I need to get that perspective mod, though, because I, I want to be able to look down in first person and see my character. I'm sick of this now. I can't do this anymore. It's just, I'm invisible. What is this? <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you like this, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more, let me know. I plan on doing more, but, you know, I've got also got Ark to look forward to here in a... Uh, probably a day. I hope they get the mod out soon. Uh, the the event, sorry, the Arc Fear Evolved event. By the time you see this, it'll probably be out, and I'll probably be uploading videos, but um, I will see you all later. Thank you for watching. Oh, this sword is so pretty. I love it. Bye.